it just kind of shines a light on the shadows. And it kind of helps us see areas that we didn't necessarily see before and hold people accountable for things that they're doing that they weren't seeing before doing. The motivation really was to get everybody on the same platform and to have the latest and greatest, uh, you know, for the needs of our staff and our residents. So we have 34 cameras total. It is separated into Roosevelt Barracks, Betsy Ross, and the Bus Barn, uh, and the Pond. We have a series of uh, RFID badge reader locks uh, in Roosevelt Barracks and Betsy Ross. Our campus is pretty big, so it's one of those things where we can't keep eyes on everything around campus at all times. So it's just a good way for us to have eyes on places that we never usually have eyes on. Um, we just want to make sure that people are safe and that uh, you know, clients are being held accountable for what they're doing. We partnered with uh, Wright Systems. They assisted in the purchasing of the equipment and uh, they acted as a middleman to TriWest. Uh, we did a walkthrough and they determined how many cameras and what uh, systems that we needed. It took roughly around three months to get everything set up. We do a house meeting every Wednesday. You know, that's our opportunity to address any concerns, any issues that we have. Getting ahead of things like this, getting ahead of leaving the camera system, getting ahead of you know questions such as is my privacy going to be at risk? That was something that we did before the cameras were in place, but it really took some effort on our part just to make sure we had that communication with the clients of what we're going to be looking for. We put them in areas that we knew there's going to be a high traffic of clients that are going to be walking around, day rooms, hallways. Uh, we didn't put any cameras into like bedrooms bathrooms obviously. So there was a couple of clients that were worried because of privacy issues. With the past couple of uh, instances that we've had, I think what happened is, is they've kind of swayed into, okay, these are a good thing because of what has happened and this is how we've had, we could deal with it. Clients are a little bit happier with it than they, than they were before. They know that their vehicles are gonna be looked at, or if someone like breaks into it, they can know that we can rewind it and be like, okay, this is what happened. We could take the client's photo from our system, upload it into the Vercata system, and be able to search for them throughout every camera. But the best part about it is we don't have any of the, you know, he said, he said, we have definitive proof. Some clients that kind of got into a physical altercation. One of the things I really appreciate about the system was I was able to get in there and quickly identify who, what, when, where, why, and how. Within an hour or two of going over the film, taking pictures, sending over information, I was then able to meet with the clients and we were able to you know, give, deal with that immediately. Without that ability to actually quickly identify the situation, who knows how long that would have lingered or if there would have been any other issues on the back end. Just recently, actually, a couple of clients have been like, we've seen cougar tracks. We've rewinded it. It actually was a service animal that we have here on campus, but it's one of those things where we can kind of go, okay, are our clients' lives in danger due to animals that are roaming around campus, that kind of thing. You don't have to go outside. You don't have to go to a certain room. You can just sit at your desk and then kind of rewind things and then it'll go forward. It's great. It's good for the farm. They had an incident too. They got their kind of stuff stolen. Now we can make sure that their stuff is still there. The cameras have been a godsend. You know, we want the safety of our clients. We want the safety of our staff. It takes the clients out of the mix. It takes them to where now they're not responsible for if something were to happen and now they're being called a snitch or they're being called, you know, you're talking to staff or because they'll, they'll face issues on the back end with their peers. And it sheds a lot of light in areas that, that necessarily haven't been seen. And so it's, it's a good system. Um, it's fluid and it's very user-friendly, you know, and um, it's been a benefit to the program.